welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the head witch of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. You can't really tell that it's 100 degrees outside. The whole city is melting, but in my apartment and in the apothecary, I'm turning fall all the way up. I'm going from 30 to 100 in 0 0.5. So I have on my fall lipstick, one of my many fall colors, and I have my pumpkin spice candles burning. Don't judge me. I have cinnamon incense. I mean, it just goes on and on. I pulled out my sweaters last night. I am so excited for fall. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be in Philadelphia or somewhere else for the fall season. Season, but wherever I am, I already know I'm gonna be excited about it. Are you guys excited for fall or is it just me? As soon as they started pulling out the Halloween decorations, I was like, yes, yes. And then it went from Halloween to Thanksgiving really fast, which is weird. So anyways, that's not why you're tuned in. You're tuned in today because there are huge changes that are going on in our cosmos, in our world that are going to start this week. I am so excited. I want you to feel my excitement because as a business owner, as a person who is very serious minded and focused and determined, I need all of the planets on my side. I need all of the planets on my team. One of the major planets that we all need in order to have concrete developments and to build up has been retrograde since April 17th or April, yeah, April 17th. And that planet is Saturn. Now, Saturn is going to go direct on September 6th. Now, luckily for us, Saturn has been sitting in the sign of Capricorn, and Capricorn and Saturn vibe really, really, really well. In fact, Saturn rules the energy of Capricorn. What I want you to do is to pause this video <laughs> and to pull up your chart and see what Saturn rules, because that is where you are going to see this predominant, where you have seen this predominant slowdown of energy, where you've seen these blockages, where you've seen these lessons, and where for some people you've felt like you've been getting punished, because that's what Saturn does. Saturn wants you to be mature, it wants you to be realistic, it wants you to be practical, and any idea that you have abandoned or anything that you have abandoned, when Saturn is retrograde, he steers you, he steers your ship, your mental ship, back to that port so that it can tweak and adjust and change. We have a checklist of things, or technically Saturn has this checklist of things, and Saturn says, we did this, we did this, we did this, we did this. Saturn acts as quality control. So during his retrograde period, you probably have seen many things kind of break apart or slow down significantly. And it's so frustrating because if you don't have the support of Saturn on your side, you can't get any project off the ground. It's like you trying to, you yourself trying to push a boat or a tugboat trying to pull a boat when there's no water for that boat to float in. It's just not going anywhere. When Saturn is direct, his engines are turned on and he's ready to sail again. He has a destination, he has a goal, he's equipped, he has everything that it is that he needs. To support that energy even further, of this advancement and build up of resources and opportunities and growth, a lot of the personal planets are crowded in the sign of Virgo, or they're in signs that complement the energy of Virgo, so Earth energy. What we have when I look at the chart is a blending of Earth energy, which means that something is starting to materialize. We needed this. This week, what I want every single one of you guys to do and to capitalize on is this new moon in Virgo. This is gonna be happening on the 9th. Now, I'll talk about the new moon in Virgo in a more detail-specific video that's to follow, so I hope that you're subscribed to the channel, but what happens is, is that when Saturn is going to rut, when he's switching his rotation, what he does is he switches us up as well because as above, so below. So our focus kind of needs to mirror what it is that is happening in the stars. And in this case, we need to start becoming very serious again, not on looking at the past because when Saturn was retrograde, it said, look at the past, look at what you would wanna do differently, look at your commitments. We turn our focus and our vision to the future and building concrete plans for the future. This is an excellent time for people who are trying to build and grow businesses, long-term relationships, cement health-related plans that benefit their life for the long haul because Saturn rules longevity. He also wants you to take your vision very seriously. Now, one of the things that came through to me while I was pulling the chart was that what the universe has for us, it can't be missed by us, which means that no matter what the obstacles, the delays, the frustrations, your belief on where, whether it can happen or not, not, whatever it is, nothing can stop it from coming in. In fact, the last few weeks, I've been kind of guided to look at energy, how energy is so connected. Even if you are experiencing these types of delays, just because
because you don't see the result right there in the moment doesn't mean that it can't happen. In fact, a lot of times what these planets are doing is working to put you in a spot where you're able to restructure yourself and to learn about yourself so that when you are ready in the eyes of the universe and the divine, you're gonna have everything that you need in order to take care of the responsibility and the weight of the commitment that it is that you're gonna take on. Why is it responsibility? Why is it commitment? Why does it feel like a weight? Saturn rules commitment and responsibility and he wants you to be mature. Now, again, these things that are happening around us are so divinely connected. They're so divinely inspired because Jupiter, the planet of abundance and expansion, is sitting in the sign of Scorpio, working to bring into your life quality things and people. This is your job, your relationships, your health, everything. Then we have Neptune, which comes through and wants to guide your steps in a way that you're intuitively being inspired. That way you're receiving messages that make sense to your soul. Sometimes logically they don't make sense, but intuitively you're like, this is a yes, this is a must. When the new moon happens, what I want you to do is to actually create a plan because the energy of Virgo is going to help every single one of us create a a list or a task and a plan of what we need realistically in order to bring that that vision to life. So let's say you are starting a business or looking for funding or whatever it is. You're gathering resources and information and setting the intent, putting it out into the universe, what it is that you want and also what it is that you need in order to bring that idea into a reality or at least to take it to the next level. Because now that Saturn is here and he's strong and Mars is also strong because the majority of the planets this year have been retrograde, which means that so many of them have been turned within and asking you to go within before they give you all of their energy. Well, now that each of these planets are each turning on the knobs, their energy is coming in just as strong. This is when you need to speak out into the universe what it is that you need. Virgo is actually so gifted because what it does is it allows you to be more efficient and to approach a problem with a practical solution. So what this new moon does for you on the 9th is it allows you to pay attention to the details and the specifics specifics. I see for so many of you guys using the art of setting intention, writing intention for creating your magic. Remember how I was saying with the full moon in Pisces that it is connecting you in that moment to your spirit, to this higher uh, vision that you have for yourself because Pisces is so connected to the cosmos and to the spiritual world. But what ends up happening is on the opposite side because that's what the sun is sitting in. On the opposite side, the sun sitting in the sign of Virgo is going to help you to create that plan. So because you've already walked out of that space of visualizing and setting the intention on the spiritual realm, it's now time for you to create a plan, a practical step-by-step -step guide to help to get you to that ultimate vision. Also, earlier today I did pull some cards for us to give us a quick energy read when it comes to the tarot world and I saw the king of pentacles the world card and the ace of swords now king of pentacles is so connected to earth energy always because he is ruled by earth energy but he's practical he's consistent he's reliable and he's loyal he's the business owner of all of the cards one of the more grounded business owners king of wands is sometimes a business owner as well but what we're seeing is things kind of manifesting and actually seeing that manifest because we are ready, we're strong, we're wise, we're mature. With a lot of these planets sitting in such earthy grounded signs like Capricorn and Virgo, what we're actually going to see is the physical manifestation of these things that we've been speaking and saying and feeling for so long. And when the King of Pentacles shows up, I actually see this as, as a sign and a signal that we are truly ready, that we have what it takes and it's time to take it to the next level. That being said, the world card is one of those cards that says, look, if you you want to talk about taking it to the next level I'm your guy because the world card learned all of the lessons of its past and the world card is going to take all of the knowledge that it has gained all of its experience and apply it to this new future this brand new future meanwhile the ace of swords is connected to your thoughts your mind and the things that you speak and that is your power when I look at Virgo I see mercury written all over it no pun intended mercury rules communication he rules our thoughts and how we express ourselves, but also how we work our magic. The Ace of Swords shows you that despite all of the obstacles, despite all the bullshit that you've been through, that the next steps ahead are 
probably not paved all the way, but that you actually have what it takes in order to make your way and to push and power through. Again, these are awesome cards and an awesome chart for business development, career. I've been getting more questions now than ever when it comes to readings with people wanting to focus on their career, their purpose, and building security for themselves. This is the week to think about that and to narrow that vision down and to help it to manifest by thinking it, speaking it, writing it down. Ace of Swords will always cut through the bullshit. Ace of Swords will always rise above the struggle and adversity because Ace of Swords has what it takes. This is a very powerful card. You can use your tools as a weapon for destruction or you can use it for a weapon of creation. It Ultimately, it's up to you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure that you're subscribed. Thank you so much for sharing, for all of your comments, for your love and support, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.